Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work out on our chest and our tricep muscles. Straight away we are going to start with the greatest stretch. 5 repetitions on each side before the start of my workout. Remember repetition is the key. The more we repeat the more stronger we grow and more we get an opportunity to measure ourselves in terms of progress. So the program wouldn't vary much. It would still remain the same. It's only the kind of sets or the variation of sets or the intensity of the sets which we are going to play around with just to keep a little bit of excitement going on in the workout. Sometimes maybe now or then we might introduce one or the other exercise which is absolutely not new but just do it once in a while. After completing the greatest stretch, we move on to the deep squat, the mandatory deep squat for the day. Sit in a deep squat for some time. Now some people would be able to sit absolutely deep wherein their glutes would touch the ground some people like me might not be able to do it and that's absolutely fine now to start off with we are going to start with our first exercise incline bench press similar format three sets 15 repetitions with a challenging weight in a controlled manner then we are going to push for heavier repetitions wherein we choose a weight which is absolutely heavy wherein we can command at least five to six repetitions now one thing i want you to make sure is that you control the weight as you can see how slow and controlled manner i execute my reps especially the eccentric portion of the exercise no matter what weight you choose try to control the weight as much as possible and that's where you create a challenge for your own self while pushing up yes you could be explosive you can do it in an explosive manner and give it all your strength you got but when you're coming down you want to control the weight feel the stretch in your chest muscles and create that stretch based growth now after completing three sets of these remember if you prefer please do a couple of warm-up sets just to get in flow of it but otherwise the first set could be counted as a warm-up set after completing the incline bench setup i moved on to flat bench press now in the flat bench press i have done three sets when in the first part of this set i have done 15 repetitions then drop the weight twice so for example i have taken 20 kilos here done 15 repetitions out of it and once i am tired or exhausted unable to move the weight any further or maybe with one or two reps left in my tank i drop the weight go for maybe 15 kilos you can do a 5 kilo uh, decrement you can also choose to go with a 17 kilo i'm just giving you examples here but do as you feel comfortable when you're dropping weight you want to get at least four to five repetitions so make sure that you have that repetition mark in your mind to achieve those many repetitions now as you can see i keep the weight back grab the next weight so the break in between is minimum yes of course you can have a couple of dumbbells just lying beside you if the gym is not busy and the dumbbells are available you can go ahead and do that but one when, when the gym is ready i don't want to keep all the dumbbells with me so i just take them as i go after completing my flat bench press i moved on to our tricep work we are going to start with the staple exercise incline bench tricep extension with a barbell now we are going to do the pause repetition style wherein we are going to do 15 repetitions take a pause and then do 5 5 repetition in in intervals of four so we get 20 more repetitions there taking pauses for four to five seconds and we do that thrice now in these first three exercises itself both your chest and your tricep muscles would start getting fatigue and that's absolutely fine these exercises are supposed to push your muscle to the absolute fatigue so that now when we do the next few exercises we are working really close to failure range and that would actually optimize growth now remember failure does not mean that you're not able to move the weight we don't want to go to that level of failure because that would defeat the purpose of achieving high repetition mark or hypertrophy we want to go to failure wherein we feel that okay there's not much i can do i need to take a break maybe a five second break or a 10 second break i can get few more repetitions so that's the failure which we want to achieve now after completing tricep extensions i moved on to again a chest based exercise cable crossovers now i have done two sets of this the first set is mid height level as you can see the cable is just behind at my shoulder level 
and then top down and they I set the cable up completely at the top range and then push down remember while doing this exercise our focus is to squeeze or create adduction in our chest as you can see here how i squeeze my chest how i get my chest muscles as close as possible and i do this by trying to get my elbows my left and the right elbow touching each other or getting my arms across each other to create maximum amount of adduction now if you have already a very good chest muscle you might not be able to come as close as me but otherwise you should be able to cross your arms pretty easily with I'm, i i don't think i have phenomenal chest but i do have a good amount of muscle but i am still able to get my arms all the way across and i feel you would be able to do that so make sure you take the pause for four to five seconds and get going with more repetitions for my next exercise we are going to do cable tricep extensions wherein we are going to do three sets of these and in every set the first part would be 20 repetitions and then we are going to do two drop sets wherein once after completing 20 repetitions we drop the weight by at least 30 to 40 percent and then again after completing as many repetitions as possible after the first drop remember to keep your arms absolutely straight and then push the weight or the cable as high up as possible and get the maximum amount of elbow extension your hand should get absolutely straight that's where your tricep gets maximum amount of contraction and when you're letting the weight go down you do it in a controlled manner you just don't let the weight pull you back at speed you do it in a very controlled manner so you feel the stretch and you're also trying to resist against the pull yes as i mentioned before thanks to the first couple or first three exercises which we have done you will be realizing that you're fatiguing very quickly or you might not be able to pull as much weight as you're usually habituated with and that's absolutely fine we are training our muscle very close to failure and that's where maximum growth happens given that your nutrition and your rest is in place after completing the cable extensions i moved on to tricep cable push downs three sets 20 repetitions in absolutely controlled manner so again here as you see as the cable starts coming back up i control it i don't let it just pull me i resist it in a very slow controlled manner and then push it down remember you don't have to let your elbows go all the way up you can just stop it at the 90 degree angle as you can see i'm doing it and when you're pushing down you want maximum or absolute elbow extension so you want your elbows completely extended to get maximum contraction out of those tricep muscles and in the video you can clearly see how my tricep muscle is acting the short head is what i'm training right now we have been training our long head in the first two couple of tricep exercises here is me training the short head because of the shortened position of my arm after completing my tricep push downs you can also do this particular exercise with a rod but i prefer doing it with cable because it gives me a lot more control over my push downs i moved on to decline bench press three sets 20 repetitions now you have to choose a weight which is not extremely heavy because remember your triceps and your chest both are extremely fatigued thanks to all the volume and weight which we have moved so don't take a weight which is extremely heavy take a weight for example here i've just taken a 10 kilo dumbbell and i've make sure that my repetitions are in absolute control of me so i'm not just pushing out i'm not just letting the weight come down i'm trying to control the motion as much as possible and that's it for today we are done with our exercises we are going to finish off with static stretching simple holding a pvc pipe taking your arms all the way behind creating abduction and staying there for 15 to 20 seconds to create a stretch in our triceps in our chest muscle and open up our shoulders also thank you so much for joining me i hope you did like the workout again nothing new we are going to do the same thing again and again in different manner to get maximum results out of it if you did like the workout and the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would appreciate you subscribe to the channel gives me a lot of positive feedback any kind of feedback which you want to share please do drop a comment once again thank you so much for joining me thank you for watching the workout i hope the workouts are being as efficient for me also for you so i'll see you in the next video 
have a good day